Hi, Jay Smith with Model Aviation Magazine. I'm here with Martin Newell and some of his amazing micro airplanes. Martin, could you tell us a little bit about these two airplanes we're holding? Sure. Um, these are uh, Spitfire and uh, P-51 Mustang. Uh, they're both about four and a half inch wingspan. Um, the Spitfire has a four channel radio in it uh, using a rabbit receiver that, that I make. Um, the four channels are the usual uh, elevator, rudder, aileron and throttle. Uh, the weight, all of weight is 1.7 grams. This model is a P-51 Mustang. It was developed after the Spitfire. It has all of the same features as the, as the Spitfire, uh, but it also has an 8-channel radio in it. So it has the same four channels as the Spitfire, only this one and the other four channels has a flaps, a retracts, operable navigation lights on the wingtips, and uh, machine guns. I don't like to admit to it, but um, each of these planes took me a year to build. I am retired, and so that was pretty much a year of full time on each of these planes. It doesn't quite look like a Merlin. Sure it does. <laughs> so there's the motor, and the wires are a little bit short on this, but what I've got is two pins in the back of the motor and the same kind of socketed connectors. So on the other side, should I turn that? Go ahead. So you've got this chip here, it's made by a company, Allegro. That's the controller chip. And what's inside there is a hall sensor, that's a, yes. a transistor which is uh, switched by magnetic field. So that detects, that senses the position of the, of the magnet and does all the switching necessary to drive the current, alternate the current through the coil. I've got a program that I developed, it's about three, four thousand lines of C code, for de designing um, propellers. Um, so I start off with a del, del ring blank, stick that in the middle, and that will mill this plug. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it, it's got the profile of the propeller on it. Okay. Then you lay epoxy impregnated carbon fiber cloth over that plug and pop it inside a piece of shrink tubing. This is like one inch, one and a half inch diameter shrink tubing. Okay. You shrink that down, which forms the top of the mold. Right? Okay. So that squeezes the top of the mold down. Yeah. So the carbon fiber is squeezed between the shrink tubing and the, and the mold. So you let that set up. Then I put it back in the mill You've got to align it carefully and run the milling tool around just the profile. It doesn't touch the surface again, but you know, when it cut this, the first thing it did was go around the outside profile. Okay. So it runs around that outside profile again, cutting off the carbon cloth. And then you pop the prop off and it's virtually finished. You do have to balance it. And here's the finished prop. What do you use to balance it with? There's my prop balancer. Isn't that sophisticated? With a range of gray shafts, you see? Shafts so for the different size props. the shafts in there, and then you run your finger along there to get any dust off. And you put this on there, and you stick this through the prop, and it runs along there. So I can put that in there. And then clean those off. That's not bad. It should stop, you know, roughly. Well, if it, if it won't stop in any particular place, it's balanced. So this is pretty good. If they're off balance, you just tell immediately. It just, you know, swings. So that's quite well balanced, which it should be. It's in my... That's how I do it. And so then the heavier blade, what do you use to take it over? Just a little piece of... paper. Uh, paper. Emery, emery cloth. Put uh -huh. it on the side of the block and just... It's the emery cloth wrapped around a little piece of brass tubing, actually, and sort of rub it like that. Obviously, it doesn't take much. No. This is a Plan Traco transmitter. It's got four channels. Um, they've got a battery charging station here, and trims, and that's, that's it. Good little unit. Um, so I took that and put in a... Uh, display. display. So now I've I've reprogrammed this with a lot more functions than that had. It's, of course, it's got the hip hop uh, software system that I developed, but um, 
I've added this, which makes it possible to have lots of stuff. Like on here, you can read, this is hip-hop version 2, it's model 7. There are 50 model memories in this, that, are, that didn't have any, had one. Um, this is in mode 4, we could talk about that. Yeah. Sure. You want me to bore your, <laughs> your leg off. Uh, this is mode 4, it's telling me. Uh, rates is 100%, expo is 50%, uh, the battery is at 6 volts or so. Um, you can use that to... With this. Right, so you've got the usual rudder, elevator, okay, um, ailerons which are hard to see, they're up only, so I'm, I'm going to make, I'm going to operate the left aileron, yes. okay, and it's deliberately very, very slight, um, throttle of course, uh, flaps, Fall down and put the flaps back up. We got retract. They were meant to be, they're slow going up but coming down they're more jerky than I would like. We've got operable um, nav lights so you can have them full on or flashing. And then, uh, so, <laughs> and that, oh, that sound is coming out of here, which uh -huh. is another enhancement I made to the track.